Hi everybody, Flesh Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, it's a fine day today, and we're in spring. <laughs> um, let's show you what I've done since I saw you last. I think we had... Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we had up to the... The barn done. I angled this road down. I wasn't sure whether they go straight across and then come down, but I thought angles look better. Um, and I've built one, well, one simple house and um, three of the larger ones because, again, in reading up, the um, I should have really put these three down the other end because. They were usually the more important people were at the end of the village. Um, but as it turns out, this is sort of like, I'm not going to do any more housing than this for now on this side. There's eight, eight houses that should be hopefully enough um, for the, well, for the barn workers. Eight on this side and if I do eight on the other side. I've just today put four houses here, well, the foundations for them, and they've all lined up pretty much perfectly with each other. Um, I haven't gone real close to the creek, but it's still pretty good. I think it's pretty much how it, it should be. I could have maybe even have brought the first lot in closer, but... It's good. And also, um, I spent a fair bit of time clearing the trees. Now, I'm hoping these ones here, I mean, that's past those other fields, but of course, we're further this way. So I won't really know whether these will need clearing or not. But if I look south from here, I'm probably going to have to clear, well, these two. But then if we look, see if I go back up that way, yes, that's right. Keep on heading south. We're not even up to that first foot, that last foundation yet. So, um, probably all those are gonna have to go as well. I just thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd take a break from doing them because again, it does get a little bit um, monotonous when you're not doing other things as well. So, I've really got to start thinking about planning the rest of the buildings and where they're going to go. Uh, and if I want it to be a linear town, like I said, we've really got to go close to the creek which means a lot of clearing of trees because they're, they're quite dense through this area it's almost a bit of a pity to take them out but um, I don't see much of an alternative unless I spaced them out more but again that wasn't traditionally what they were like um, I'll see if I can actually find a diagram and well, actually, no, I will find a diagram and I'll put it up right here, in fact, just to show you um, the way that they look. And you can see that they're really um, pretty much the same as what I'm trying to do here. Anyway, it's um, good to see, but <laughs> it's not doing work, is it? I'm not planning on this video being a very long one, actually, because um, I need to try and do more off air. And yeah, I've just, um, I just need to. <laughs> it's actually quite late here. It's um, 4.30 in the morning. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm up a little bit too late, really. But I'm wondering if I, See, we have these paths here. We 
which are for the, you know, just getting to and from their, their, their fields, really. I still haven't put um, any gates at the end here or any fences at the end, mainly because I'm not sure whether I'm going to make a pretend main road that comes off of here or comes along here actually and then joins up with the other existing roads maybe at this this point here somewhere so it sort of branches off and just sort of naturally bearing in mind that building there isn't going to be there but I'm not sure I'm not 100% certain about that but we could we could have the road coming along where I'm walking now and continue on and then that way when we get down here a bit further we might be able well it's pretty close to the road here anyway which is the only reason why I might not do it it just might be a bit dumb What's that road over there? Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, it would be a bit pointless, wouldn't it? I suppose we could build out the rest of the village out to here. along this way but then it makes this area here isolated it's a real dilemma I should have thought about it more but it's too late now <laughs> let's go have a look down near the the river's edge again um, might as well go along the road saves dodging trees Might have to dodge Wysant instead. <laughs> See, anywhere that I put any buildings, I'm going to have to clear a ton of trees. I'm going to have so many logs, it's ridiculous. And I still have to, you know, dismantle the palisades around my other uh, town, village, whatever you want to call it. So, hello, wasn't two of you. Uh, let me sit on the deck and ponder what I can do. It's, um, it's a bit of a dilemma. I really do think so. The only way around it is for me to do a lot of clearing of trees, which I think I could do, but it would mean it'd be very difficult to get a video out every day for the game. Because um, it just takes a long time, <laughs> as I'm sure you're all aware if you play the game. It's, uh, let me think, I don't want to take, make any decisions lightly, but there is like hundreds and hundreds of trees. I suppose what I could do, I could still do a video every day and do a very short video, just giving you an update of what I've um, done in that particular day. That way it will keep me honest, it will make me keep on doing as much as I possibly can each day. But a lot of it will just be clearing trees in the first few days. So I think that's what I'll do, most definitely. But for now, what time is it? Hmm... 
that's the other trouble too i keep on getting people that's a little step i keep on getting people coming from the other village to um <laughs> do my fields every time i make one and i don't know what impact that is having on the other village actually the other village let's just check and see because i haven't done any repairs let's see if the witch's hut has been degraded yet witch's house only one panel though has been disrupted plenty of the other stuff is uh getting pretty well damaged oh the windmill's got three i don't know if that affects production and I'm probably out of tools of so many things that uh, I hate to think. And I know that I've got at least one 19-year-old now who hasn't... I haven't given them any, um, no, profession. I haven't given them any uh, jobs or anything. Henrika, she's good at uh, production, I presume. Yeah, she. So, um, she can just have a, uh, a gap here. Anyway, let's get the houses built. I can at least do that. F oh, the animals have got no feed. How come the animals have got no feed? I can't worry about that. If the animals die, so be it. I don't think they will. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want a hammer. Right. I shall... <laughs> I shall skip this and um, come back when they're all built. That will be exciting for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> best laid plans of mice and men. I've got two done. <laughs> two houses <laughs> two to go but uh, it's getting a bit too late so I think I'm gonna call it a video but because it is night time I get to go to bed and <laughs> thanks a lot for watching <gasps> oh, next season already time flies when you're having fun <laughs> I am having fun. It's just uh, a bit repetitive fun. I uh, better F5, just in case. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Good night, John Boy. <laughs>